Hi, I'm Nolan Haynes for Creative Pro, and today I want to show you how presentation designers highlight text to make slides more readable and more quickly scannable. Now, we've all seen awful slides like this in which the presenter is trying to highlight different things within it to supposedly make it easier for audiences to pick out what's most important. The problem with this is, as the old adage goes, when you highlight everything, you highlight nothing. So let's take a look at this slide that has probably a little too much to type for an on-screen presentation, and the presenter probably knows that. So the presenter is going to go ahead and highlight things in yellow, the most important things that they want to be the takeaway for each bullet point here. But if we go through this one by one, if we look at the first one, stakeholder support and change management bring real value. Now, the problem is it's, it's, it's in the middle of the slide, and the hierarchy is all kind of messed up because the audience doesn't know if they should start from the beginning of the bullet point or jump to the middle, and then they end up going back and forth, and it creates this big cognitive dissonance. So the solution here is to keep, highlight, keep things highlighted, but rearrange the words so that those highlights fall at the beginning of that text block. So stakeholder support and change management bring real value. That's what gets read first. And then if the audience is more interested, they can sort of keep reading and get a little more detail. Now this goes across two lines, which is probably a little more highlighting than I prefer, but let's look at the next bullet point. Providers dependent on cost prohibitive IT, significant barrier to adapt. There's so much here, there's more highlighted than not. With a little sort of text manipulation, reordering, we're going to put that IT administrators are a significant barrier. That's now scannable, very easy, very easy to do. And you can just go ahead and keep reading if you're interested. But if you're quickly scanning the slide, the yellow is really all you need to get the general gist. The last one, we've got physicians are not in control, learn to adapt. Again, we're going to move those words to the beginning. And when possible, I like to have my highlights only on one line. So in this case, I wrapped uh, starting with of technology to the next line, which is totally fine to do. I feel this, even though it's still one sentence, makes it easier to read. Let's look at this example here. This is now five bullets that have been chunked horizontally on the slide, which is a great technique. And the presenter here is doing much better with the highlighting in that they're only highlighting one or two words, but still your eye and your brain is, is jumping back and forth from the middle to the, to the beginning. Where do I start? What's important? In this case, we're going to do the same uh, technique. We're going to take, for example, the, the first one that has highlighted reputational value. We're going to put it at the top, but we're going to make it its sort of its own subheader and just bring it down to one word. So it's a categorical now, reputation, and then we have the full sentence below. The next one is staffing, same thing. That's the subhead that's easily scannable. And then the sentence below, the next one is risk. The next one is right message. We're going to have to do some wordsmithing to bring it down to message. The last one is anticipate. So now you look at the slide and you can easily digest it much, much more quickly, get the high level message that, that's being communicated. And then if you want the more detail, you can read the sentences below without, have, without having to jump back and forth. So that's how professional presentation designers work with content to rearrange things to make it more digestible and more easily readable. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.